goalie tonight. Is Mike Smith ready to be your goalie tonight or not? No, Koskinen will play tonight. Are you, uh, you know, you get a 5 0 start and you lose a game. Is there something that a coach says or does or, or wants his team to focus on so it doesn't turn into two? Is that a something that you use? <coughs> Coaching two? We, we concentrate on more on how we're playing. We were winning some games where there were some things we could do a lot better, and we lost the games when we liked a lot of things we did. So you balance that out. We're just we're preparing to come play Vancouver tonight. Um, they've lost a couple in a row. We've lost one in a row. So we'll see who can get the win tonight. It was Smith's situation. He's just like a still a day-to-day kind of day. Day-to-day, day, yeah, day-to-day. Day. We just decided to give him an extra day. He's going to get some work this morning out there. He'll practice tomorrow, and we'll see where he is on Monday. Skinner backs up. Yeah. Statistically, Nugent Hopkins' numbers are up. I mean, he's not all about points, but do you notice anything in his game that's different from last year when, you know, offensively the numbers were It's It's hard to say with Nugent. He does so many things in the game that, you know, are positive aside from the numbers. So I think you tend to let, you know, you don't notice that as much. But that being said, our power play has been pretty good. He's a big part of that. Um, you know, I, I think our whole team has played a little better there he's he's uh, back with dry saddle for most of the, most of the year here. He had a little bit at center, but he's he's played solid. He's played very solid and chipped in some points. So he's 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 off to a good start this year. You already alluded to the fact that it's about the process, not necessarily about the results. Are you at all concerned that Kyrie Yamamoto isn't getting the results, even though that line's been decent five v five? Yeah, you're concerned about production for sure. Like you're looking at some of the other things he's doing, and he's he's contributing even though he's not getting points. But that being said, you're you're playing on a line where you're, uh, you know, it's one of your top top two lines. You you think at some point he's got to start contributing. Now, we've talked about it. He's he's around some chances. We got to start getting some results there, though. Uh, last season, towards the end of the year, Tyler Benson got some time on the PK down in. Uh, mm-hmm. down in Yeah. Would, is there any thought to your, your penalty killing is top five in the league right now? Would he get worked into that equation? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes tonight, depending on how many penalties there is, depending who the penalties are, who are against. Uh, we've got a little bit of a rhythm of the guys in the lineup right now that we like, so we'll see how it goes. But he has the experience to do that now. We did a little bit with him in the in preseason, so it wouldn't be foreign to him if he jumped in and did it. Piggybacking off of that, Dave, what do you need to see from Tyler Benson in terms of his skill set and his tools, and what do you need to utilize like to stay in the lineup? Well, we're looking for, you know, we've tinkered around with that bottom line a little bit. We're just we're trying to find a bit of an identity for it. There's he's uh, you know, he's he's looked in preseason in the game he played in in Vegas. He's like an energy player. Brings you know he brings energy. He's quick out there. He's on top of loose pucks. So. We'll see if we can, you know, we'd like to see that line, even though they haven't got a lot of minutes, we'd like to see them generate a little more energy for us, and that's uh, an area he could be, he could excel at. Dave, I just wonder, uh, with going back to Ryan Eugene Hopkins, if you notice anything differently when he plays the wing versus center, and did you like to kind of switch it up in order to get him more, uh, you know, more, more responsibility when on the defensive zone? Well, if you, if you watch him when he plays wing with dry saddle, those two guys, it's similar as with McDavid and dry saddle play, play together. They, uh, they read off each other well. So Nuge does a lot of things that a centerman does when he's with dry saddle, uh, even though he is on the wing. So it's, uh, it makes the transition back and forth very easy for them. Uh, but new, new, that's the thing that's really good about Nuge. He reads off people. He, he cleans up messes. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, He's a smart player that way, so I don't I don't notice a, a ton different other than he takes a lot less face offs when he's on the wing, but he still does a lot of the same smart things in the game. Well, with, with Tyson Berry, there's been a lot of talk about you know him and Bouchard and, and playing them different minutes and different roles. Uh, as I understand, Tyson's a guy who is very low maintenance, doesn't complain about very it. much. That's so. something you've seen from him as well. Very much. He he it's all he understands what you know. There's there's positions that I know he wants to be in because he thinks that's his strength, and there's positions that he understands other guys might do a better job than him in. and that's being a good teammate that's being a guy that just accepting what we're doing to try to win and Tyson's a good player like he's he's a good player you don't 
get the most points in the league for a defenseman without being a good player. So, but but we're trying to find the rhythm of our defense, try to find where everybody fits in, and where we can maximize the ability of each guy. And and Tyson understands that, just like all the other defensemen understand it on our team.